They really only have one chance to attack. If they attack and fail, things are going to happen that will shut them down. We're in the EOC, the Emergency Operations Center for the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department, participating in an operation that will use some of the technology that we've developed to randomize scheduling so that terrorists cannot predict where we're going to be. CREATE is a national center of excellence established by the Department of Homeland Security. We were the first such center established. There are now 12 centers around the United States. We're designating high visibility patrol teams, explosive detection canines, mobile search and screening teams, crisis response motors, behavioral detection officers, applying them across a number of named areas of interest or locations that we want to ensure coverage. What we've done is partnered with the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department. They're responsible for the rail system in Los Angeles County and we are looking at a way to more efficiently and effectively deploy their resources, both day-to-day -day patrols and specialized units for counterterrorism. We've been working for about the last year with the uh, Team Core team at USC to look at ways to randomize the deployment of patrol personnel for three use cases, fair evasion, serious crime, and the deployment of counterterrorism special mission units. The original uh, faculty member that developed this technology is Dr. Melin Tambe. He has a, a group of students, uh, the, the Team Core Research Group at USC. I work with a, a team of uh, PhD students and postdoctoral researchers. For the past seven years, uh, this work on armor, since it's been started, has been this great teamwork. We are actually the group building the computer-generated schedules. That technology was developed at USC at the CREATE Center uh, based on game theory. Game theory emerged from mathematics and economics, and it is useful when we were playing against an intelligent adversary. This is a tremendous opportunity for our students. We call it immersion. This is where the students actually get to see the results of their research being implemented in practice in the field with the law enforcement community. We cover all areas that were random so that, the, that our adversaries aren't able to detect any kind of patterns and potentially exploit them. It's really exciting but sometimes I don't want to be stuck in my just in front of a computer 24-7 just by myself but really being able to in, engage, interact, see this, see the research really being used, I think it's so powerful and such, it's really gratifying. We already have achieved incredible results on other settings, on other infrastructures, on airports for instance, on flights, on uh, uh, ports like Boston or New York. And now we are tackling this new challenge of trains. What we will bring to this exercise is an opportunity to use technology in a way that helps the human element, the defenders. Our overall goal is to enhance the uh, public perception of safety and to deter any potential threats on the system. If this is successful, there is a very good possibility that this technology will be deployed and used at exercises throughout the United States. And we hope that today we will be able to move a step forward.